Okay, after you weld the pieces in and you grind it off to your likings, you're ready for this uh, body filler. And you could uh, use lead to fill everything in, grind it down, leave it pure bare metal, or you could put body filler right on top of this. Um, however you prefer, either way that's welded in and it will be it will last forever. In 80 grit sandpaper and uh, this is to start off the, to shape the form you want to take on your bodywork. It has a sticky back, that's the one you want to use. You don't buy this at Home Depot. You buy this at an automotive paint store. Okay, this is, if you go to the automotive paint store, they have a guide coat, it's called guide coat. I use this stuff for a dollar at Home Depot. Uh, as long as it's a flat black or flat any color, really. I like black because it shows you everything. And all I do here, I spray this, light coat. I don't go this heavy, but for the purpose of this video, so I can show you what's going on, I am. This right here is your best friend. It'll tell you everything. It's like your light detector almost. So I just sprayed die coat here, just to see if it feels good. But let's see what's happening. One more time. I do feel something here, and I can actually see it. I don't know if the camera can capture this. This right here is brown. This is a little bit more whiter. Same here. That's a low spot, and those are high spots. So, I know that I have to send more, but for the purpose of this video to show you, I'm gonna use guide code and show you what I'm talking about. So, I'm blocking, I could block with 150 grit, but I don't want to change my blocks sandpaper. I'll block it real quick with this Because of this bare metal here, this low spot here, and the low spot here, I decided to just put a, a thin coat of body filler right here. Well, not too far out, just here. Go well, this way, real thin. And as you can see, this stuff is actually thin in some, most of it, 90% of it is really thin. Because if you keep sanding, you'll get to bare metal right away. So. Concentrating the pressure on the higher spot and not, not, not on the low spot. And I just keep standing. X pattern, straight up and down, more X. There, that's gonna disappear. I 
feel more stuff here. These holes here, those are factory holes for the moldings of the car. Those are your best friend. Because when a molding goes here, say right here, if you have any waves or anything here that's not perfect, from, from here to there, it'll hide it. It'll disappear and you're good to go. So, best friends right here. Here we got some body work started on this door and we got this nipple type dent that's still high. It looks good but when you put your hands over it you can feel it. If when you're doing body work you can feel anything on the surface, the slightest thing, it will show like a huge thing when you finish painting it. So we still have some more blocking to do and we uh We'll take care of that real quick with that dolly and uh, hammer. Right here, there's a little bare metal spot. Um, I need to push that in. I'm using uh, this hammer and this dolly behind. And I can have the option of, has a flat surface, if it's a flat surface, round surface, if it's round. So obviously I'm going to go like this to match the surface, counter of the surface. I'll put it right underneath. Put pressure on it. And just like that, I don't know if my cameraman could uh, get an angle of it, but from right here looking that way, you can see it goes that way and then it dips and then out very slightly and that's all you need time I clean the spatulas correctly and set up my blocks with sanding paper, this is ready to be sanded. And I want to use the body of this is countered this way. So 98% of my strokes are going to be in this direction. Not like this, because that's going to give you an edge and you're just going to be fighting, fighting yourself like this. A little bit on the X. Here we go. Now can you see the color change? It goes from white and then there's like beige. Obviously the white stuff is the highest point of the body filler. That's why it's cutting it first. The brown stuff is the lowest spot. And you want to make it where it's all even white. Stop and check see where I'm at because I don't want to send too much and I have to add more body filler all right it's coming out good and right here you can see the edge from the old body filler to the new body filler you see it right here okay and I'm gonna keep sending it to feather it out. It's, it's 
disappearing as I do this. You don't need a lot, a lot of pressure when you do this. A little bit of pressure is good. Right here. Now you can see there's a little sting right there. Couple more passes. And it's gone. Okay, just for uh, 30 seconds of sanding in this direction, you can see the black spots and the white spots. The black spots and the white spots, especially right here. All this means, I was saying before, I feel something here. Well, this is your visual. Instead of you feel, this is high, this is low. This is high, or the white, and this is low. So that's telling me I, I gotta keep blocking. And the only thing that's gonna tell me to stop blocking is if I see bare metal somewhere, then I either gotta fix the metal or add more body filler. I mean, it depends. Here we go. You see that disappearing now? You don't, want to, you don't want to stay in one spot standing, so you got to move and then come back to it. Anybody could do this with this uh, steps, that I'm, with this information I'm giving you. Almost there. Okay, I have to stop here because it's showing me bare metal there. If I keep going, I must stay here forever and never get it right. So I'll just stop now. This, I could keep sanding, but because of that, it's, it's worth just to stop and rethink what you're gonna do. Here, same thing, this is too way too low. Whoever put the body, body filler on here didn't spread it out correctly in even passes, the even amount, even thickness, and that's what happens. So when you put body filler on, if you do it correctly and take your time, the right way, you're gonna save a lot of time sanding later on. Okay, I'm feeling this and it feels very good. There's a couple of little things and I believe they're little pinholes that I'm feeling. 